In today's class, I will explain about how to design a navigation bar and footer of the web page using HTML and CSS. This page has been designed. Okay, see here, this is the navigation bar title, or else you can put the logo over here, followed by the, you should put the title. This is the menu items has been created. Okay, then when mouse moves over an element, then color has to be changed and also animation underline has to be displayed. Okay, see here how the underline symbol has been displayed for the all the menu items. Uh, this is the background image. See here, this is the footer has been created. Then how to design this kind of web page using HTML and CSS. I will show you with the help of the code. See here, simply this is the HTML file. Okay, the H1, the div class equal to now, then H1 tag. Then div, another div has been sub div has been taken. Then because the list of the items has to be created, then home about the achievement contact. This is the footer. See here, the separate footer has been taken. Then uh, this is without CSS how it will be shown. Okay, this is CS code, CSS code has been written. See here, I will delete the CSS code. Then how it will be shown? See here. Okay, this is the way the HTML page has been designed without CSS. Okay, this is called H1, this is called the elements, this is called the footer. Okay, how it has been designed without CSS. Then I will explain you CSS code. See, this is the CSS code has been written. See here, I will explain one by one. Okay, this is star, this is called universal selector which is applicable for entire the body. Then margin should be zero pixels, then padding should be zero pixels because there is no space to the all elements of the body. Then box size in border box, which means that then padding and border will be included the width of the element. Okay, that is the purpose we use this one. Then font family, okay, this is given. Okay, Arial and whichever you want, you can use over there. The ta text transform, because by default, whatever you use in the body, that should be in the uppercase. Okay, in this example, I written, but if you want to write Okay, if you want only some of the text should be uppercase, you should in that uh, class or ID only. Okay, don't write over here. Okay, then when you come to the body, then position should be relative. Why why should you write the position should be relative? Because the width, left, uh, bottom, right, and but uh, top, it will work. Otherwise, it doesn't work. Okay, that is the purpose. I use the position. The width hundred percent has given the height. Okay, this is width height is not required body. Okay, I removed it. Then see here, the background image, okay, image as a background, then position should be center, then background size, because 100% is what is horizontal, 100% should be vertical, okay, that should be at center. Background repeat, no repeat, okay. Uh, this is the way uh, you can write background size cover also, you can write like this, okay, or else cover. It is also work, it is like a display like a cover page, there is no much difference, then Okay, see here, it is displayed like a cover page, no much difference. Then when you, this is called as the navigation. What is dot now? Okay, this is called as uh, main division, okay, for the navigation. See, okay, what, I, what, what is the code I written inside the dot class? Display flex because all items has to be displayed uh, in a row wise and column wise. Okay, that is the purpose of display flex. Here I, I displayed all the items in row that's why I use the display flex. Then height of the now bar should be 80 pixels. Okay, this is called as okay, 80 pixels. Then background color should be white. Then what is the word background color should be white has been used as for the menu bar. Then border, what is the border? Five pixels solid and this color has been given. Okay, if you want to use any other color also, then you can use there. See what is the difference of the little bit border has been given but it is looking not good i will use a little bit uh, okay then light colors okay now it is looking good okay then border radius should be five pixels see here some space this is called border radius has been given as a five pixels all the corners as rounded by five pixels then when it comes to the h1 element okay if it does not use this one uh see here how it will be displayed it is not displayed in the proper uh, position in the header then that's why i use this one padding should be 10 pixels then what is the padding the amount of space is required between continents border the font size the margin lift okay this is called a margin lift okay save it okay this is called as the margin lift this space is called as the margin lift okay when it comes to the next one then menu okay menu is the subdivision in the now bar then display flex then width should be 70 percentage 
place direction row reverse okay this code has been written to place these items menu bar items at the right okay i remove it then how it will be shown uh, then see here okay, it will be displayed like this okay if you want to display those items at the left uh, sorry at the right then i use this code okay got it then when comes to another list display flex list style one okay list style one say no uh, bullet format has to be removed okay then li padding should be 20 pixels okay then the padding should be 20 pixel has been given you remove it okay how it will be shown we will see once okay the item should be displayed like this okay then we should use the padding okay then every property is very important CSS. this is called anchor tag text decoration underline has to be removed the color should be this one has been given the, because this is the colors has been given the font size 25 pixels then position should be relative point weight bold okay this is has been displayed as a bold okay when over then mouse pointers over in a menu items then color should be blue because see here the color should be blue yeah it is visible okay it is applicable for the all the menu items then when it comes to the a because the pseudo elements has been used over here i anchor tag then this is called a pseudo element syntax then before then content should be nothing then position should be absolute then width is under percentage then why height to height should be two pixels then background bottom should be zero zero means because here before the item should be displayed the background color is given okay this is the rgb color has been given the transform okay scale x okay because the x code that what is called the background color has been increased the scale zero means nothing has to be increased nothing happened okay transform has not, not happened okay that is called a scale x x is the x coordinate okay transition the transform property then the animation will be completed this animation duration okay 0 0.4 pixels okay it is uh, in and out it should be normal okay is okay same speed will be applicable over there then when mouse pointer moves over it transform for a scale one because the size has been increased by one okay because here no color has to be displayed no underscore has to be displayed then what is the width that has been given under percentage initially it does not display when mouse pointer moves over an element then here how it is being displayed you can see over there okay this is the way you can animation underline should be used for the all the menu items okay it is looking very good you can use it in your web page okay then this is the way this code has been written for that one okay or else you can use the animation property okay this is not required it is not there then when it comes to the footer the position should be fixed if i remove it then how it will be displayed it comes directly after the next development okay okay if you want to use because position should be fixed the padding top right this is called the bottom left the font size has been 60 pixels width 100 percent eight that should be given as a 80 pixels where it where it should be aligned okay it should be at the bottom of the web page okay then background color if you want to change it okay the background color has been changed then see how it has been displayed okay this is the this is the content has been written for the footer okay then if you have any doubt regarding this example you ask me at any time if you want to design any kind of web page you ask me okay then this is the way we can design the navigation bar without using any bootstrap just i'm using the css code and html then i designed a navigation bar and footer if you have any doubt regarding this example please contact me at any time thank you thank you all for watching